right now i'm i just started watching the tropes i haven't seen that movie i never seen that movie but it's been on my um on my list on on netflix and it's been on my list on netflix um what was yeah but i had watched it and then the other day i i saw a sign that, that told me to go watch it so then no i saw the sign and then i watched i then i had logged into netflix and then i saw the movie and i was like fuck it i get it now i'm gonna watch it so i just started watching it so i'm probably like two minutes in and already the message is just puff right but anyway so the message is they were saying that the trolls are very happy they're very joyous and things like that and then the, the other people saw them and wanted a piece of that happiness and so they said that they made their happiness by setting up um a yearly event for them to capture the trolls and eat them right and so i haven't got fully into it right i just got to where the trolls escape but that within itself is already right we are going into happiness king the king of pinnacles the queen of wands those are two people who have honestly has been the most outcasted and the most downtrodden in the in society right the queen of wands is typically the weird girls they're they are called weird okay we've been called weird our whole lives you've been called an oreo you've been called an uh uh oreo you've been <laughs> told that you were acting white they said you was weird right uh these black blur these blurs these black girls who are awkward quirky all the things right when it came to main just being in our blackness right you're not an it girl you're not a bad bitch so all the 2000 when the 2000s music came you was not a part of that okay you was counted out all right when drake said the girls got their nails did hair did everything did that was not you when the girls was when the malaysian hair the bundles made its wave and and they stopped using the yaki hair you got out of the game <laughs> you got out of the game okay you could not continue with the game you was not paying 500 dollars for bundles your mom wasn't going to pay for it neither were you on top of paying 200 and something for a sew-in no ma'am no sir right you you did not have the the jays okay you didn't have the, the 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 all the cute shoes and things the girls had. You didn't have the the jeans. You didn't have. You didn't do all of those things. You wasn't rocking the rock wear. Well, I did rock the rock wear, but I could not afford that Echo Red, honey. I could not afford that Echo Red. I ain't, you ain't never seen no Echo Red on me. You saw. You saw. Once it got to Ross, yes. <laughs> By then, I knew never to put that on. But you saw some rock wear on me, but you did not see no Echo Red because I could not afford an Echo. Okay, Jay-Z line was about as close to it. That is the, what is the South Pole. But anyways, Queen of Wands, you were the awkward one. Um, King of Pentacles, you struggled the most, right? People told you you were the outcast in your family right so she was outcasted in her social peer group you were outcasted in your families and so you guys are moving into these energies of, of happiness of joy that all they ever seen was the street nigga be angry mad or sick they called you in school you was the angry bad boy right you're the one who they call start the fight starting problem because you you didn't defy authority they gave you opposition no defiance disorder as a mental disorder right um all those behavioral disorders is one you got right the teacher pick on you start a fight with you you react now you got the principal called on you right you're the you were the target for that prison to 
that preschool to prison pipeline that you were the target for that so people have outcasted you and shamed you just as much as they outcasted and, sh and shamed the the weird girl right so y'all understand being black sheep and so now spirit is getting to a phase because of the fact that you guys were independent thinkers um you're moving into a phase of happiness and so a lot of the other ones going to want to emulate that happiness and they're going to think that it's going to be through your aesthetic and the, your ways of how you are but they don't understand that it's going to be an energy and a spirit and so the target is on you all those angry people they want to be happy too but they don't want to do the work all these people who are used to other people doing things for them getting by with other people doing things like the king of wands his mama did everything for him the queen of pentacles the queen of pentacles you did everything for her right all these people who have done things lean on things you hustled you got out on those streets you risked your life so you could eat the weird girl she she did all of the things she did the school she was a well-rounded she did the college they said she needed to have all these she needed to be in all these different clubs and work and this and that she did all of that why they called her poor she was the one catching the bus places okay to work to school why they called her all of the things she know right y'all come from the same background y'all just took two different routes to try to survive and y'all both realize and y'all both are at this stage in y'all lives where you like well damn that didn't work you like well damn that didn't help get me out of poverty i'm still here she like, well, the school didn't get me out of poverty. I'm still here. And so now Spirit's like, yeah, because I needed y'all to use me. And so now that y'all understand that those two things don't work, y'all could talk about why it don't work and what's the power of me. And because you're talking about what's the power of me, I'm going to make sure y'all have everything you need. That's why I'm going to make sure y'all happy. Y'all got joy. The Egyptians were very happy. They had joy. And so the Romans stole their slaves and turned their slaves into soldiers so that they could go around stealing other people's lands. You remember, that's how it all started. All that started to happen with Genesis, Exodus. Exodus is the next one from Genesis. So think about that. Now we're really getting into the truth of this Bible. And I kind of want to go back over it so we can get to the real tea. But I don't feel like it. I think we got the gist of it, right? But what they did to the Egyptians. You are the Egyptian. They, the Egyptians were ascending. They remember they were, they were tapping into their consciousness, their awareness. You know, the ascension, the third eye. All those things. The Egyptians were doing all those things. And that's why they saw them being so happy. And instead of asking them, how did you get that? They cap they try to do take everything they 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 went and infiltrated to destroy their empire because they thought that that was going to destroy their joy and then that's what triggers the whole slave trade isn't that deep all right y'all peace